Now it's a developing story. A tense search underway right now for a shooter. A gunman opened fire in the middle of downtown San Diego today, killing one person and wounding another. Fox 5's Jamie Chambers, he joins us live with what he knows right now. Jamie. Well, we've got surveillance video that shows that the shooting happened right at 1215 behind us, right at the doorstep of the Central Library, really the heart of San Diego investigators still working this scene, also looking for more and more surveillance video. The pink mask gunman can be seen running from the library as surveillance cameras capture his escape west towards Petco Park, then turning north on 10th Street. In these still images, it appears the handgun is still in the man's right hand. Moments later, the gunman drops his pink ski mask, but our angle from this surveillance camera does not show his face. There was some sort of uh, interaction at right in the foyer of the library, right in the entrance. Um, during which our suspect produced a firearm and began firing at the people that were there, obviously striking two of them. Schools in the area were shut down and the library evacuated. In the end, one man was killed and another shot, but suffered non-life-threatening injuries. We have very limited description of our suspect right now. Uh, the best I can give you is a black male in dark clothing, unknown age. Uh, however, uh, you know, as you can all see, there's quite a bit of video and quite a bit of uh, investigative things we can do here to hopefully get that person identified and get them in custody. One more look at the video shows the people in the coffee shop scared away from the window as the gunman runs by. Witnesses say as the suspected killer made his getaway, he was visible to the entire neighborhood. Right when I looked out my window, I saw a black male he heading up the street, looking over his shoulder and running against traffic. Now the schools here, the charter school of San Diego shut down, the library shut down throughout this process as the cops continue to search for this gunman. We asked them if this was a targeted attack or that we have a, just a gunman on the loose. They said residents in the area should feel comfortable with all of the police activity that they can go about their day. That's the very latest from downtown here at 10th and K, Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.